Hi, my name is Elise Henson and I'm the Clinical Nutrition Manager and a Registered Dietitian here with Community Care. Today we're preparing a chicken with balsamic pan sauce. Some ingredients that I would like to highlight today include chicken, which is a lean protein, as well as plenty of fresh herbs and spices. Um, and in particular, we're going to be using fennel. Now, fennel is special because it has a really unique flavor profile, um, as well as having being high in plant oils and having plenty of antioxidants, which help to fight inflammation in your body. What we're going to do today is toast our fennel seeds. So what you're going to do is you're gonna heat a pan over medium heat, add the fennel, and then you're going, to want to you're going to want to stir the fennel frequently while you're cooking it, that way it doesn't burn. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put the to toasted fennel seeds into a plastic bag and we're going to crush them using a meat mallet. And you're going to want to use the flat side of the meat mallet and just beat down until you've pulverized them. So when you're done, your fennel seeds should be ground medium to coarse fine. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to pound the chicken to about one fourth inch of thickness. And so what you're going to do is put the chicken on a cutting board, cover it with a piece of plastic wrap, and then just take your meat mallet and beat down. Next, we're going to salt and pepper the chicken, just a little bit on each side. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to dip the chicken in flour on each side. So put your flour onto a plate and just lightly coat each side. So we are using a whole wheat flour, which is a whole grain and has lots of fiber. And so fiber is a nutrient that is important for all of us because it helps to control our blood sugar as well as cholesterol and can actually help with weight loss. Next, we're ready to cook the chicken. So you're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil to your pan. And one of the reasons we're using olive oil is because olive oil is an unsaturated fat, which is healthy for your cholesterol. So we are now going to take the chicken and place it in the oil, and we're going to cook it for about two to three minutes each side. So next you're going to remove the chicken and place it in a bowl and cover it with foil to keep it warm while we prepare the sauce. Now it's time for the sauce. We're going to add the remaining tablespoon of oil to the pan as well as one tablespoon of butter. I'm going to let that melt down a little bit. And then you're going to add your tomatoes and shallots. So we're going to cook these until softened, which is about one to two minutes. Next, we're going to add the vinegar and bring it to a boil. So you're going to simmer the vinegar until it reduces by about half. Next, we're going to add our chicken broth, garlic, and our fennel seeds. And then you're going to add a fourth teaspoon of salt and pepper. So go ahead and cook the sauce until the broth reduces, which is going to be between four to seven minutes. So next, we're going to take our cooked chicken breast and put it back in the sauce to let it simmer. What I really like to do during this step is to take a ladle and ladle some of the juice over the top of the breasts. And now you have your beautiful chicken plated with a nice green salad, and we've actually sprinkled some fresh fennel on top of the chicken as well. I wish you guys could smell this, it smells delicious. If you'd like to learn how to make this recipe and others, please contact us at 512-978-9269.